good morning everyone so recall that in the last class we have discussed some discrete distributions mainly geometric binomial negative binomial and hypergeometric today we are going to discuss two more distribution so let's start with this problem which says that according a report one in 200 people carry a defective gene now in a sample of thousand individuals what is the approximate distribution of the number who carry this gene so if there are there are two parts if i simply ask what is the distribution so distribution if you relate it simply asking the number of successes among n trials so there are thousand trials are there and you are asking for the number of the successes and probability is given 1 by 200 which directly says that we are talking about binomial distribution but when the word approximate distribution comes which says that if n is very large then it's very hard to compute or to do the calculation using binomial distribution so if approximate word is not there then it is binomial random variable with the following parameters but if approximate distribution is there then there is a result which says that in binomial when n is very large and p is very small in that case np approaches to a value mu so you can see that here we have wrote mu mu is equal to np or which means that the binomial get approximated to a new distribution where the parameter is mu in binomial the parameter is n and p here the parameter is mu where mu is n there is a thumb rule which says that it's better to approximate if n is greater than 50 and np is less than 5. And the idea to approximate is that because binomial CDF table won't work for very large n because of very heavy computation. So this distribution is known as Poisson distribution with parameter mu where mu is np and it is defined as e raised to the power minus mu mu raised to the power x divided by x factorial. So remember that by the language it is clear that it is binomial distribution. Either they say that find the approximate distribution in that case you have to use Poisson or even even it is not given and n is very large and n p is small in that case also it is suggested to use the Poisson distribution it would be clear when we see some more examples so for Poisson distribution the expectation variance is mu and moment generating function can also be computed and you should remember it so the same question it says that why what is the approximate distribution and then use this distribution to calculate approximate probability between 5 and 8 that carry the g. So the distribution is as we already discussed approximate distribution means Poisson distribution. So here n is quite large and that's why the parameter is mu and once the parameter is there then you can always write probability of x comma mu which is 5 is e raised to the power minus 5 5 raised to the power x divided by x factorial and when we have to compute the required probability so it is 5 less than capital x is less than 8 which is f of 8 minus f of 4 now using the table of Poisson distribution you can see the value of f of 8 and f of 4 and from there you will get the required answer. Next question says that <clears throat> that 1 in 88 children have been diagnosed with a disorder. If you take a random sample of 200 children what are expected 
एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ द नंबर हु हैव बीन डायग्नाइज सो प्रॉबलिटी इज गिवन ऑलरेडी वन बाय एटी एट एन इज गिवन एंड क्लियरली इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट नंबर ऑफ सक्सेस इज अमंग एंड ट्रायल्स विच मीन्स दैर इट फॉलोज बाइनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन now for the binomial distribution we need to find expectation and standard deviation so for binomial distribution recall that mu is np which is expectation and its variance x is npq which means standard deviation is under root np now n is already given 200 p is given 1 by 88 and therefore you can compute the required expectation is standard deviation but the next question talks about approximate probability so whenever approximate it means we must approximate binomial distribution with poisson distribution and it says that that at least two children which means probability x greater than equal to 2 where x follows poisson distribution with mu which is np it comes out to be 2.27 so probability of x greater than equal to 2 is same as probability of 1 minus probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1 since it follows poisson distribution therefore you can see that 1 minus e raised to the power minus mu mu raised to the power 0 by 0 factorial e raised to the power minus mu mu raised to the power 1 by 1 factorial and that gives you the required answer which is 0.6622 if you compute the same using binomial distribution which is exact probability the answer is 0.6645 so you can see that we are not very far away and as the number n would increase more mu would be np is small in that case we will be more close to the binomial distribution the next one is poisson process so this is it talks about number of successes so we also talk about num number of successes in binomial and in poisson distribution but in poisson process it talks about in an interval of length t so whenever you talk of the interval it means that you are talking about poisson process so probability of x equal to k is the probability that k events will be observed during a particular time interval of length t and in that case the distribution is same as poisson distribution where you used to write mu but in that case you need to consider mu as np and now you consider mu as alpha t where alpha talks about the expected number during a unit interval of time so that's why it's e raised to power minus mu mu raised to the power k by k factorial where mu is alpha t so let's see a question suppose a small aircraft arrive at a certain airport with the rate 8 per hour so unit is r and it talk about rate per hour it means alpha must be 8 now what is the probability that exactly 6 so probability of x equal to 6 arrive during one hour period so one hour period means t is 1 which means mu is 8 once mu is 8 it becomes poisson distribution so you can simply write e raised to the power minus 8 8 raised to the power x which is 6 divided by 6 factorial and similarly you can talk about at least 6 which is 1 minus f of 5 and at least 10 the next part says that what are expected value in standard deviation of the number of small aircraft that arrive during a 90 minute period so period has been updated it means t is now 90 minutes 
but we need in terms of r so it is 1.5 hours it means mu is alpha t which is 8 times 1.5 which becomes 12 now we know that for the poisson distribution expectation x and variance x is mu only so that's why mu is 12 and standard deviation is under root 12. what is the probability that at least 20 aircraft arrived during 2.5 hour period so 2.5 hour it means mu is alpha t which is 8 times 2.5 which is 20 so now probability of x greater than equal to 20 which my which is 1 minus f of 19 and parameter is already known mu is 20 so based on the parameter using the table we can compute the required values all the values have already been added in the slides please do verify them using the table Suppose trees are distributed in a forest according to a two-dimensional Poisson process with parameter alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is expected number of trees per acre and which is equal to 80. What is the probability that in a certain quarter acre plot there would be at most 16 trees? So at most 16 trees means you are talking about probability of x less than or equal to 16. But you need to see that what distribution it follows. It's already given Poisson process where alpha is given 80 and alpha the unit is acre. Now in a certain quarter acre plot. So you have revised the time period of the unit quarter acre which means t is 1 by 4. It means mu is 80 times. 1 by 4 so this is your required mu rest is fine you just need to compute f of 16 when mu is 20 <coughs> this question is very interesting it talks about <coughs> probability that any particular diode will fail is 0 0.01 suppose a circuit board has 200 diodes so directly given that n is 200 what is approximate probability that at least four diodes will fail so at least four means probability of x greater than or equal to four need to be computed and what is your x the number of the diodes that fail it means the success is out of n trials how many successes how many diode fails so we have to ask probability of x greater than or equal to 4 clearly it is binomial distribution but the word approximate has been used therefore we must follow or must use poisson distribution so my mu is np so which is 200 times 0 0.01 which is 2 now probability of x greater than or equal to 4 is 1 minus probability of x greater than or equal to 3. Yes, which is 1 minus f of 3 with parameter mu equal to 2. So that can be computed from the table. The next part is again very interesting. It says that if 5 boards are shipped how likely is it that at least four of them will work properly so now you can define a new random variable y which says that the board probability of or the number of the boards that work properly now it means number of boards that work properly out of n boards so it means number of successes it means that your y follows binomial distribution where n is 5 but p is not known yes and what is the probability p probability p that the the probability of getting the board worked 
and when does a board work only if all diodes work yes so all diodes work now what is given in the last question that a particular diode will fail its voltage is 0 0.01 now x was a random variable which talks about number of diode fails yes and we have to see the probability that none of the diode fail it means that zero diode fails yes zero so in this case it was like at least four diodes fail but now we have to find the probability of zero diode fail because all diode should work so it means we need to compute first probability of x equal to 0 which would be small p which we are looking for now x is equal to 0 is we already computed mu which is 2 so e raised to the power minus 2 then 2 raised to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial it comes out to be 0.135 now for the y we need to find the probability at least four of them would work which means probability of y greater than equal to four now this follows binomial distribution with probability point 135 so we know that what is the distribution for binomial distribution substituting all the values we will get the required answer So very interesting question let's move to the last question which says that uh, of people passing through an airport metal detector 0.5 percent activate it yes so 0.5 percent so write down what would be the probability now x is number the number among a randomly selected group of 500 who activate the detector what is approximate PMF so whenever approximate word is there actually it is binomial but since approximate comes we have to use the Poisson distribution n is already given 500 p is 0.5 percent which means 0 0.005 so n p which is mu it comes out to be 2.5 therefore the PMF probability mass function so p you can write probability of capital x is equal to small x which is x and the parameter is 2.5 so it is e raised to the power minus mu mu raised to the power x divided by x factorial yes and the next talks about find the probability of x equal to 5 so the PMF which we have computed we simply need to put x is equal to 5 and that gives us the required probability so that's all from today's class in the next tutorial we will discuss some questions based on continuous random variable thank you